So what can I test and how can I test? I'm going to answer to these two questions and I'm using the word test in a very open way in the sense that uh, actually I would ask more correctly what can I verify and validate but um, it's so common to say test so let's use these and then be more specific about the particular techniques which testing is probably one of the most uh, used but we'll see that actually is not the only one and so if you look at the development process as a formalization process then we will understand that basically we have we don't have only code and of course i can test the code but i can test everything i can verify everything so anything even even a, a natural language uh, description of my problem can be verified can be assessed for instance do i have ambiguity in, in the description of the problem are so Sometimes I use some strategies when I write spe uh, uh, when I write uh, specif requirement specifications. For instance, I have just one verb per sentence. I uh, make explicit what are uh, the people involved, the actions. Everything is explicit so that I try to reduce ambiguity. So I can just have. Um, uh, uh, an activity during my development that I just give these, these descriptions in natural language to people to read so that they can see if they find ambiguity in there, in there or not. And the same applies to the code. I can test the code the way we talk about testing. That is something like, uh, well, you know, I just uh, define a set of inputs and I run the, the code given that inputs and I expect, observe if uh, uh, it produces the expected outputs, but I can just give, read the code and see if uh, uh, the code follows some standards. So, what can I test? Well, all the artifacts. I've been talking about, usually about the software artifact, but in some software development processes that probably are not so agile, you can have a lot, a lot of intermediate artifacts. So you can a lot have a lot, uh, you can have hundreds of thousands of pages of documents describing the requirements. And yes, you need to test the, them. You need to read them. You need to see if they are compliant with some, uh, uh, some, some specific some norms that you have defined some standards some rules so basically you can test everything okay but of course I would say that there are two different ways when you test uh, one is and that are related with the specific characteristics of the artifact one, and it, it is related whether how formalized is the artifact. So if the artifact has a very good le level of formalization, then you can test them using uh, automatic uh, tools. Okay? So we, you can have a formal specification of your problem. You can just uh, check to discover if it has some properties. Okay? To discover, for instance, uh, if uh, it's not inconsistent. Okay, so you can apply this. And what is really interesting is that as things are changing and you have more powerful tools, you can even use natural language automatic tools to verify some properties in your requirements. Or there are today, in terms of research, of course, but there are tools that read the requirements and try to understand if there are ambiguities in them, on them. Okay, so... Basically, during software development, we use uh, uh, several techniques, either human-based or tool-based, to verify properties in your artifacts. And all types of artifacts are possible, not only the code and not only the execution. Okay? So, that's the answer to the first um, question. For the second question, how do I test?
actually is a bit related because if you think about it, I can say there are three ways to test something, okay, or to, uh, to evaluate or to verify. One is as a mathematician. And what is as a mathematician? Basically, you prove that the software is correct. Not only the software, you can prove that the specification is correct, okay? And this type of verification or to ver validation is driven by the specification. So basically, you already need to have something com form completely uh, formally described, okay? Then another way that people do to verify and validate the, the, the artifacts, the intermediate artifacts, not only the final artifact, is to do it as an accountant. And how do accountants work? Well, they inspect the software. They have a set of rules that they follow and say, let's see if these specifications follow the rules. As, as I gave this example, let's see if every sentence has a single verb. And if that's not the case, hey, there's a, there, there's a bug there or there's a fault there. So let's, let, let's fix it, okay? So basically this is driven by experience and standards. And then there's a, the way that you do it as an engineer, where you actually test things by executing, by prototyping, and prototyping and uh, uh, creating prototypes of your um, products and testing the prototypes, breaking the prototypes, is what engineers have been doing uh, quite often, right? It's a very practical way to verify if they have the expected behavior. And usually here, there's a real emphasis on the final artifact, on the software artifact that you actually need, you actually are able to really exercise. So you, you can observe the results. So you, you, you want to, to apply tools there that uh, uh, give, you, give you feedback when you use the tools on top of these artifacts, okay? So when it's not, the problem with this usually is that, uh, well, you know, when is enough is enough, right? When you stop, uh, can you stop uh, testing the plane, okay? And uh, so you have a lot of uh, rules and uh, uh, conditions that you need to comply with so that to guarantee that, well, that's enough. And uh, uh, there's a trade-off between how enough is enough and how much is going to cost, because actually testing and validating something is quite expensive, because uh, uh, especially if you have constraints in terms of uh, time to market for the product. Okay? So, what we'll see is that both uh, static uh, approaches, so we, and then we'll see uh, reviews and in inspections and dynamics, test verification and uh, val uh, validation is important. So we'll see, we'll focus a lot on running the code, but actually it's proven that other approaches were based on, for instance, on reviews and expression are quite effective in terms of uh, uh, verifying and validating uh, the, the artifacts, okay? And the point is usually is the point of engineering. When should, the, when should we apply each technique? I think that is the question we keep uh, asking and that's where the pragmatic software engineer knows that uh, uh, looking, understand what is the problem and which technique apply for each one of the cases, okay? So reviews and inspections are uh, quite good and we will talk about it uh, in, in the next video. And uh, tests, it's one of the tools that we're gonna use mo mostly in the course.